welcome back to my channel. Happy Pride everyone! It's June so that means it's Pride and I'm so excited. You know, black lives still do matter and it's Pride. Um, I'm just really excited because Pride is such a happy month and it's just really beautiful because I have so many friends who are in the LGBTIQ plus community and I just wanted to say happy Pride to everyone because why bloody not? It's just a great month. But um, I think the reason why I wanted to do a little Pride video one because i wanted to show that like i support pride always have always will two because there has been like a lot of killing of like black trans people in america at the moment and it's been really really hectic like this year is getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse literally every day there's something new that's really negative so um that's another reason why i wanted to do this video and three because pride is such a fun time i get to wear rainbow stuff all the time i get to wear clips and i get to wear loved stuff and i get to wear all of these things that insinuate that i'm gay and it's just great anywho so as i said before black lives still do matter i feel like it's a topic that is dying down a little bit like when i look through the media of like these fashion designers and these celebrities like you literally see like one black post the blackout tuesday post then you see maybe like a couple of like maybe a post about Brianna Taylor, rest in peace, Brianna Taylor. And then you have like George, George Floyd. And then all of a sudden it's like, boom, selfies, boom, boom, boom. And all these angles. And I'm thinking like, has everyone forgotten that black lives still do matter or something? Like what's going on? Like, and if you go on all your social media, it's like, what, what is going on? The only people still talking about is literally black people. And that's just not what we were supposed to be doing because we knew that we were the ones who were being oppressed. So surely we should not be the ones talking about it. Obviously, uh, the LGBTQI community really do relate to our oppression in the sense that they've been oppressed for so long or just been hated for who they are for a long period of time. So I think it's one of the most hypocritical things when like I meet a black person and they're like, yeah, I'm homophobic or like I hate gays or like I hate this and I hate that. I'm thinking like, how do you hate them when we've been hated our whole lives? It doesn't make much sense really and truly. Uh, and that's why when I hear stories about like black trans people in America, black trans women in particular being killed, I'm like, damn, I'm like, what is wrong with everyone? Like, what is going on? Because normally when you see all these videos and stuff, it's literally black men ganging up on these black trans women. And I'm just like, <laughs> hang on a second. <laughs> We're supposed to come together in peace and love and harmony. Um, but as I said before, 2020 is just showing numerous colors. Uh, no, no pun intended or any relation to pride, but literally it's showing all the colors of the rainbow, like, and all the, the negative colors, like, it's just, it's terrible. But I don't understand why we have to even talk about this. Like, why do people need to say black trans lives matter for you to know they matter? Surely, like, you don't have to agree with something. That's fine. That's cool. But it's happening and you kind of have to move on and just get over it kind of thing rather than, like, killing. Because that's really, 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 really wrong. Um, Pride is just such a beautiful... Like, it normally is a very, very beautiful time and, like it's really filled with happiness and stuff and when I used to work in Topshop it was one of the best things ever because we'd all come in like our little rainbow outfits every like day of the week we'd wear another colour so whether it's red we wear red one day when we're wearing orange another day and then finally when it's pride we wore basically rainbow colours which I absolutely adored but obviously it's gotten to the point where we're still stuck at home because of coronavirus so that means pride is cancelled which is terrible it's 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 really really terrible considering how it you know all started and how like they had to protest to get the rights that they do today which really does link to the fact that we need to keep protesting we need to keep signing petitions we need to keep going at what we're doing because if the lgbtqi community didn't keep going as strong as they did they wouldn't be able to have the rights that they do have i mean i know that it's not the same at all because like the oppression of black people has been happening for a very, 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 very long time. And I know there is systematic racism, even within the LGBTQI plus community. So it's like, I know it's not on the same level because there's still racism even in that community in itself. But it's just kind of like, we should kind of like shake hands and be one with each other rather than fighting against one another, if that makes sense. Because we're, we're fighting the same fight in the sense that we just want black lives to matter because they do matter whether you're gay, bisexual, trans, asexual, doesn't matter what you are, 
doesn't matter if you're non-binary i don't care i don't care what you like honestly i could not care less what you like as long as you don't do your pda in front of me i hate pda and that's just in general oh gross but um like yeah like i don't understand why people are being so mean about everything you know like you you think it would get better but literally as soon as one killing gets done there's another one and as soon as that gets uncovered there's another one and it's like every week there's something new but i just want everyone to take time out from social media which is what i've had to do i've kind of had to like just put off my phone or like just log off because it's just like there's just too much negativity uh, it's just too much and i can't deal with it but um pride is as i said before it's always such a happy time i've actually never been and i wanted to go this year actually with one of my mates but obviously now it's been cancelled which is terrible but we'll have next year to rainbow it up and have a lovely time um and show our colors and stuff which is pretty cool because i think the beauty and pride is that like you don't have to be part of like the lgbt community to be accepted like you can be just an ally which is beautiful i'm an ally myself so i really do enjoy watching all of it go down and just i think it's really beautiful but yeah i just made this video to say that black trans lives do matter and black lives matter and black kids matter and we all matter like all of us regardless of the shade of our skin tone regardless of if we have vertiligo regardless if we're short tall big fat doesn't matter what we are our lives matter just as much as everyone else's life i don't want to hear all lives matter because they can't matter if black lives don't matter and they can't matter if black trans lives don't matter either because those are the lives of the black people too so yeah uh thank you for coming back to my channel um i hope you're celebrating pride in your own little way obviously i know not everyone's really like that fast but like with me like this gives me an excuse to put color on my skin put color on it's just it's great like i love pride it's just such a lovely time but anyways happy pride to everyone and remember that black trans lives do matter peace and love